Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. This is uh, from Aravindai Hospital, Pondicherry. We have been doing uh, a non-stop uh, lockdown series for the last five weeks. And this has been the sixth week. And uh, we are trying to finish the series with a very interesting uh, uh, contribution from across the country. Uh, we have called this as Lockdown Jugad series. Uh, you all know uh, Indians are very popular. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. This is... Uh... So you all know the name Jugad originated from India again and it is so popular across the globe. Now, when there is a problem, people come up with solutions with whatever is available with them because there is no right time than this. Now, this has been a period of uh, crisis and also a period of opportunity for us. The problem during this lockdown was, you know, it's, it's not like a normal period where uh, you're not working, but everything else is available. So a lot of things were not available because everything was in lockdown, no supply chain to get any material. But uh, we were able to see a lot of brilliant ideas being shared across the social media. You no, know, a lot of that were shared so virally. You no, know, it went even viral than the coronavirus in India. So the idea is to share some of these ideas in this platform so that a larger team benefit from it. And we all know how uh, some of the uh, programs were popular from uh, music to dance now. So we think, I think uh, this will also make a big difference in uh, people who are going to start practice or people who have already started practice. We had some brilliant submissions from across the country and we have freezed down uh, uh, 30 presentations for this week and the final will be on Saturday. So today uh, we have a set of presentations and also we have uh, 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 one of our own innovators from across all the Aravind centers uh, representing from uh, Madurai to Tirnalveli, Coimbatore, Pondicherry. I welcome all the jury to this session and I really appreciate their time and uh, uh, the judging for this particular program. So now uh, we are going to play uh, Lieutenant Colonel Vijay Sharma's uh, video to begin with. He is from RNR Hospital, uh, Delhi, and the Jugad will be played, and following which the panelists can ask him a few questions before we go to the next one. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so that's the idea. A lot of times I think we are looking at uh, breath guards and also shields, uh, face shields, masks for the surgeon and also to the patient. But here they have looked at the other side in particular, you know, how to protect uh, uh, the patient also. You know, also. This is a time we have to make sure you know, both feel comfortable. Both the staff as well as the patient are feeling comfortable and secure. Know that they have a very safe atmosphere. So this is an idea towards it. Uh, starting from uh, Farah. Yeah, it's a, a very good, good video, uh, Dr. Ajay Sharma. I mean Vijay Sharma. Very nice. Uh, few questions like, what is the difference between the normal sheet which we use and this? The sheet which we use is is more. You know, less time consuming, you can just wipe it off between patients, but here it's more cumbersome where, you know, you have to detach the whole thing and again, put in the sterilization solution and put it back. So what do you think this has advantage over the sheet? You're, you're not audible, sir. You, you uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. For the sheet, you have to actually fix that sheet by opening up the slit lamp and screws and then you fix it. And uh, uh, patients keep on changing, and the sheet you can't remove in between every patient. Here it's not cumbersome. Whenever the patient comes in or walks out, it just takes few seconds. You just remove it, put it in a hypochloride solution. We what we do is we keep around 50 of these slip covers uh, with us, which are sterilized. So we put one, we see one patient, remove. There is a hypochloride solution uh, place in a tray. And we put the cover in that. Then we put the next one, put the cover in that. It doesn't take more than a few seconds to install and remove it. It's just Velcro based. So uh, uh, that is the advantage that every time uh, you are changing it and you are changing it very conveniently. It just takes as much time as the patient is walking out and walking in. So it doesn't take that uh, long a time. Uh, and you can do it, you can change it in, uh, between every patient. And there is no cost and uh, uh, it gives barrier protection for both the doctor as well as healthcare. Doctor. Yeah, okay. Dr. Naresh, do you have any questions or suggestions on that? Oh, fine, sir. I think whatever you want to ask is asked. Okay. A anybody else in the panel? Prabhu, Fatima, you can unmute. Uh, uh, Dr. Vijay Sharma, this is Dr. Prabhu. Uh, I have a question. The patient almost comes in you know, contact with the uh, cover which you uh, suggest. So, yeah. you so you suggest that it has to be changed every for every patient. Every patient, it's very every convenient. patient. Okay. So do do you, do you think this can replace? See, we recommend the patients to wear masks. So do you think this can replace the mask, or uh, what is the extra advantage that this will give in addition to the mask? Extra advantage is every patient cannot wear a N95 or a this thing. Many of them wear the homemade mask. You are not very sure every time that air uh, that uh, droplet infection is that air is. Uh, Patient may sneeze and it may come out of those masks. It is not a substitute, it is an additional barrier protection. So you should have it in place whether the, whatever type of mask the patient is wearing uh, or not even wearing, then still it will uh, work. So uh, you are not leaving it to patient to wear the mask or what type of mask. You are there with your protection. And uh, I think this is a new normal in our uh, life now as ophthalmologists that we have to get used to. Uh, seeing the OPD and uh, uh, slight amount of uh, maybe 10-15 seconds additional installing and removing it, the, that I think is a new normal and it can give a good barrier protection to both. Okay. A a anybody else has got any other added questions you can unmute and ask? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Jay Sharma, it was uh, very nice. Uh, yes. Similarly, as Dr. Prabhu mentioned, uh, even this, uh, uh, anyway we are disposing it, so we can even use it as a, uh, to make it as a mask and give, provide to the patient so that it can be used to, uh, by the patient throughout uh, during the hospital visit, kind of uh, suggestion. I hope so we can do, but we have validated it. Uh, we have used a hypochlorite solution and then reused it. We have reused these things for up to five times. One slip cover we have reused up to five times after sterilization using a hypochlorite okay. solution. It degrades okay. the quality and uh, it doesn't change the permeability. So after using, say, every time, then we used to, uh, uh, initially, we used to uh, keep one control. Where uh, then again, we used to put ink or uh, some water or solution like that. And we used to see whether it's permeating to other side or not. So it doesn't. 
so uh, that is how we have validated that after even five times use that we have done it uh, it doesn't uh, it, the quality doesn't change so you can reuse it uh, in the next opd so like i told that we are keeping 50 in a side tray in a hypochlorite solution the next opd we are removing them and we are using them okay thank you thank thank you okay Let's then it will be faster vijay uh, we'll thank go to the you. next presentation by ashraya nayaka uh, it's an aerosol utilized air looks like uh, a significant work has gone on into that and uh, uh, it, it's something which can be used in the operating room and i think they have uh, tried in uh, uh, giving intravitreal injections in seeing rop babies uh, kartik you have any uh, comments or questions for the presenter are any use case scenarios done at tarmel hospital hello no they, the presentation was from i foundation and they have two installations in coimbatore i don't think uh, uh, it, it was done anywhere in arving is that right ashraya uh, sir uh, uh, good evening everybody so we had three devices uh, one is a ventilator one is was kavach which we were, actually it was uh, designed uh, uh, like if there is any suspected case of uh, uh, retina patient who need injections Uh, to give an extra protection from the aerosol we have built in a hepa filter and a negative suction to that uh, um, um, coverage so basically whatever the patient breathes is neutralized through this uh, 2.5 particulate matter filter and a uv chamber which is uh, shown in the video so that's how we confine the aerosol and of course uh, we had a couple of patients where uh, uh, the baby had a fever so to give an extra protection we can use these kind of condition uh, these kind of devices 
of course uh, now two other hospitals which are using are not eye uh, hospitals one is an uh, um, general like for laparoscopy they are using it one in obstetrics and one in orthopedics so that's what they are using it for uh okay. but uh, this can uh, this has varied uh, amount of, uh, of uh, applications yeah. so uh, another one wa- which we used was uh, aerosol neutralized air because uh, uh, all these barriers while doing indirect and uh, while performing surgeries uh, uh, these barriers cause a lot of fogging and uh, impaired visibility so what we try to do is uh, use uh, air which is purified with hepa filter and uh, uh, try to in- uh, infuse negative ions these negative ions have a, a property to kill um, uh, the uh, positively charged uh, bacterial cell walls and virion particles so uh, we have a uh, purified air with antimicrobial property and since it's a, just an air curtain in front of the uh, in front of the uh, face uh, it, uh, it doesn't cause you much of uh, uh, breathing difficulty or light headedness after a certain point of wear of all the n95 masks so uh, right now we have developed two uh, um, uh, prototypes the computational fluid dynamics of the air curtain we have determined uh, based on the reynolds number 136 to 684 but uh, these need more uh, uh, wind tunnel studies which we are planning to do in a very short time but uh, the proof of concept is what we saw but other the ventilator of course uh, can be used uh, in uh, railway compartments and all but uh, only cpap is available in that so the, the uh, uh, ventilator and uh, kavach are completed uh, products uh, yeah, yeah, aerosol neutralized air we are still working on so but we have uh, got a considerable amount of uh, promise in uh, in air now okay, so air. Look, it looks like an idea idea now which can be used across the field for yes. somebody who is really positive now where you know is really positive you want to do something it looks like a device and uh, probably you can take it from uh, here to even uh, no a jugad idea into something which can become a uh, even a product for the future we don't know how long we are going to live with this or in the future Uh, any other specific questions there are a lot of uh, retina people uh, parag or prabhu ashe uh, out of this uh, one question actually you yes, said sir. you have given intravital injection for patients with fever but no the- sir we, like it was uh, like uh, designed for that uh, like if we get any like one rop baby had a fever of course it was na uh, it didn't have uh, covid but uh, just uh, like wearing a lot of uh, these barriers uh, impaired the examination so uh, this was one thing which we used so, for rop examination of course uh, intravitreal injection we didn't give but it can be used is what i said okay uh, dr akshaya uh, you, you said you are you are validating you are in the process of validating this correct uh, sir uh, uh, you, there are uh, uh, like in the prototype one it was causing lot of uh, dry eye so we did the prototype to the air curtain should be in front of face and mouth but uh, the event that was uh, like that needed uh, some computational fluid dynamic studies and okay. uh, yeah, uh, air tunnel studies that, that is what we are still at to do the lab okay. is not open in bangalore so i'm just wondering if you can keep this in a covid you know center and then sort of uh, understand uh, does this really make a difference yeah yeah before that prabhu i think we have to study like what he is saying we have to really yes. study in the lab yeah. if it really works all those work, uh, the dynamics inside you now before you really test it on uh, patients who are covid positive you can't take a risk before you really we have uh, done the preliminary studies in my uh, hospital only we used a spray uh, uh, to um imitate a aerosol and when the air flow is uh, uh, air, air curtain is flowing we sprayed and saw that uh, there was no trans uh, like droplets uh, crossing the the uh, air curtain but uh, the thing is uh, there are a lot of other factors the breathing zone the velocity the placement of nozzles so uh, like we, there are a lot of papers also established but uh, we just want to be absolutely right because it's a wearable disease so a wearable device so a few more things uh, like we want to validate so th- that's about it okay okay thank okay. you ashraya and uh, we'll Thanks. go to the next uh, presentation
from uh, Mano Setia. He is uh, again a VR surgeon from Gwalior. Thank you. Sir. Can we just stop the video where I ask you to, please, doctor? Hello? Yes, yes Mano. Yeah. Uh, can we just stop the video where I ask you to? Yeah. Fine. Uh, we can just play on the video. Yeah. Once uh, you ask, we'll stop. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Play, play now. The COVID-19 strategy. Before anything, we do trials on telephone appointment, and when the patient turns up for physical examination, temperature is recorded by infrared thermometer, and an osmia assessment is done by making the patient smell coffee, which is the most widely drunk drink. COVID consent is taken for examination in the language and signed by patient or attendant. The history is taken. Yeah, can we just stop there? Yeah. Yes. So what I wanted to highlight was I'm working only on the OPD aspect of this Jugard thing. Uh, this is this is the uh, optometrist chamber. We almost all of us have this in, the, uh, in our OPD setup. So what I've done is that I've removed the uh, glass that was there. Uh, as you can see, the person is pointing out. As the patient comes and sits in the, the OPD area, uh, he looks at straight here at the stellar visual acuity chart, which has been turned because the optimist used to sit here. Now it has been turned towards the patient's side. So the visual acuity can easily be monitored, one. Then he moves to the next column and there was a glass piece here which has been replaced by an acrylic sheet, which is uh, uh, acrylic air curtains that are available for approximately the cost of 600 rupees, which are malleable and you can even clean them with uh, isopropyl alcohol, uh, which, which I'll just continue to show again. We can uh, proceed with the video. Visual acuity is recorded. Well, the dehumidifiers line, ideally, the OT can be now used in the OPD area as 1% change in the relative humidity can make a lot of difference. Coffee is done at regular intervals of OPD area. Now, the Eureka or Jugard moment. Yeah. Can you just stop it here, please, doctor? Yeah. yeah the, the idea, the concept of all what I've done here is come actually come from the South Korean kiosk that you would have all seen almost by now on the WhatsApp and then which were copied in Kerala for taking the uh, nasopharyngeal and oral swabs for COVID tests. Correct. And besides then this COVID setup, which was set up by the Indian railways, I saw these curtains here, as you can see here. And now these curtains were transparent and I got them as an air curtain that are available in the market. And the idea actually came from this kiosk as well as the air air curtain which is being used by the Indian railways for COVID uh, management and obviously the cling wraps to wrap on to the uh, auto refractometer, the OCT, the NDR laser and also the green laser. We can sure. continue with the video. I've seen photos of the south. This is the whole setup here. Can you just stop it here again? Yes, so sir. this is the glass here. I have replaced the glass with the air curtain, the plastic air curtain that is available. And now this is malleable. The slit lamp is very much here. Uh, I can do my indirect very comfortably without coming in any contact with the patient. Uh, it's like an absolute uh, system for me. Why I'm wearing the PP is because obviously this is a jugal kind of a thing. I have to move out and go to my changing area. So I'm wearing PP. Otherwise, if this was a different setup, then obviously you would not even require a PP. You would have just exited from a different uh, angle. But since I'm coming out from this area, since it's in my OPD, I have to wear a PP so that even when I'm coming out, I'm relatively in a safe position. You have removed this glass and, uh, and replaced it with this air curtain, which I got the idea from the Indian Railways. And uh, they have used this for making the COVID setup or COVID isolation centers in the Indian Railways. Okay. And this was purchased from the locally from the market, easily available even in times of lockdown. Okay. Yeah, we can continue. The Indian Railways coaches which have been modified for COVID care and everyday use clean lab. The transparent plastic air curtain was replaced in the optometrist scheme and through which slit lamp examination and also indirect optoscopy using 20 adapter was done with very good clarity. The clean lamp was used on NDR and optical coronal tomography, which can be regularly cleaned with isopropyl alcohol. Emergency lasers can be done with full PP and goggles. Thank you for your patient hearing. Stay safe.
start practice <laughs> good very nice uh, uh, yeah i was very... sitting idly there's nothing much of work to do as a veterinary surgeon so came up with this thought of at least to start up with my opd and then maybe look into the ot part aspect of it although we have, none of us has probably even operated on any covid positive patient by now as far as i understand okay. so I, i started with my opd work first and then let's see how we proceed further here ashok uh, do you have any questions to manav uh, that was a good idea dr madhav yeah just uh, so my question is so you you are separating the patient from the, uh, from you by a big cover so is it so much do you think so much of covering is needed all around the patient to to prevent the covid spread yeah Because exactly i see yeah. i see the opening when you examine the eyes I, i think that's the more important area where i mean infections can pass through uh, so so any 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 what do you say about it is yes. it is it required to have such a big uh, plastic cover around the patient exactly exactly this is an evolving issue doctor we all understand we we never knew anything about covid since last one month right we understood there were reports from world health organization saying that this is this infection is airborne now airborne wouldn't be necessitate that we need to sit in a negative chamber then icmr has not confirmed it yet they still have not reported that this is infection could be airborne so this concept what i did was started from there maybe i can bring down the curtain bring it down to half the size Uh, come more in contact but since i never knew what how actually the infection is spreading how do we proceed further there is still a lot of controversy as to how this infection is spreading whether it's there in the air whether it is not there in the air is it's only in the aerosolized portion so that's why this full portion or full protection why i did this also because there was a lot of pressure from the government authorities to open up the opds if you don't open you can they they were cancelling our registration and even cancelling our uh, permission for running an opd so i came up with this idea as of now maybe with due course some time and better understanding of this covid infection and how as to how it spreads maybe i'll bring down the whole issue down and maybe this is an overdue or a over protection no, no, that i'm taking no, no, yes we are with you and we totally, totally agree with you now there's no clarity so we are trying to be safe and also so that see what happens is something happens in the hospital immediately you have to close down the hospital the whole yes. team is quarantined and you would have a small team and then you cannot practice for the next 14 days so we are trying to do whatever is safe you know for both the patients and the staff and at this point of time you know how there are a lot of work which happens on cough and sneeze and how much spread the aerosol can cause but it's more important that we have to make sure even that curtain is cleaned at frequent intervals yes, or if yes. the patient coughs or sneezes you have to take it like your blood spillage in nabh protocol no you should have a protocol immediately he coughs to make sure he is kind of uh, moved to that from a place and then immediately that plastic curtain is cleaned so that is more important so as we evolve i think uh, we can change our practices uh, any any sure. other question from uh, 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 dr mano what is the purpose of uh, covering every instrument which is on the other side with the cling wrap because now it has become a trend uh, there is no cling wrap in the market for us also so everybody is buying and covering the instrument with the cling wrap very good but is on the other side it's not going to come in contact with the patient the whole idea to cover the optics yes very good very good question doctor uh, the whole idea was to cover the optic part of it you cannot be cleaning the optic part of a oct if you would want to do you cannot be clean, covering the opd the the optic parts of the ndr laser right you had to do these procedures so i have done octs also and it's very easy and very simple procedure just to take off the cling wrap and change it to the new one and besides you can clean it with isopropyl alcohol the optics does not get uh, much with that and there is no particulate settlement on the optics of the oct which is a very expensive machine and this is just a uh, if this cling wrap for 100 meters cost just about 200 meter 200 rupees and you can always keep on changing that that's the whole idea yeah, why but, uh, yeah but that is useful in case of of uh, optos i can understand because the patient is in complete contact with the machine but whereas in other machines i don't think uh, people are in contact with uh, what do you call this optics of the issue doctor we understand that this 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 covid is there in the tears 
so how much how how much how can we make sure that it's not going to drop out or the patient is already stressed up in these conditions he's already rubbing his eyes the tears do not fall out to the the, the uh, set of the of the optical coronary tomography so just just an extra precautionary measure as you would want would, would I, as i want it goes very close to the eye i think i think people are trying to wrap so that you don't have to clean the lenses frequently yes. but you can clean the wrap on top of it and then at the end of the day you know depending on what your protocol is you remove it and then you rewrap it the next day yes. so so it, it doesn't cost and uh, the only cleaning on the wrap so the lens gets doesn't get spoiled so you're not worried that you know every time you don't know whether they touched the tears or the patient or somebody touched it so it's it's an added uh, protection yes sure. prabhu uh, dr ma yeah. uh, dr mano i have a question Uh, in your uh, you know video i i could see one person standing outside the plastic sheet so how do you manage uncooperative patient probably you know anyway one health worker is going to get exposed in this concept how do you you know manage that yeah that that's it i have given him full protection i mean it's like whatever he was wearing is the one that we are supposed to be wearing in any in the operating theater so obviously i'm exposing one of my staff to uh, to this yes you're right how do we but then uh, yeah uh, at some point of time yes i might be yeah. not doing the right thing but then again uh, there is no other alternative but to do this i mean i i could not think of anything i understand that's that's there that's there i agree with that so one one thing prabhu what we can do is engaging with the patient again to keep chin bring the forehead things like this which we have not done before we need to do as a routine now we have a habit of somebody assisting pushing the head to the for i mean head to the headrest and chin placing and all that so we need to now practice and engage the patient yeah. so that you don't have to keep on uh, kind of doing that instead engaging them and making them do that but some test maybe where you have to pull the lid somebody who has got a trauma on the lid or who cannot open the lid we still have to get somebody on the other side of the curtain mm-hmm. to do these activities but maybe follow all the protocols no we'll wash the gloved hands change the gloves give him uh, n95 the protective uh, cloth pp or uh, whatever you want so that somebody helps but not always once in a while okay we'll we'll go to the next uh, presentation now the third presentation is uh, is uh, is a local presentation from uh, 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 pondicherry dr swati uh, Visual field test is an important eye test that can detect dysfunction in central and peripheral vision caused by various medical conditions such as glaucoma, neurological deficit, vision loss, hypertension, strokes, head trauma and various retinal issues. However, due to the pandemic, it is difficult to administer tests on Humphrey due to fear of contagiousness. As it is a bulky machine consisting of many fragile components, it is difficult to sterilize it in its entirety. Hence, increasing the risk of spreading the virus causing the above said pandemic. So we propose a C3 field analyzer which is a portable head mount perimeter. The visual field test that can be performed anywhere. using a wirelessly connected tablet without any prior training or specialized dark rooms C3FA is comfortable and easy to use allows patient to rest in any position during the test we reduce the tea improving accuracy After using, it can be sterilized under UV chamber for about 30 minutes and can be used on other patients, lowering the risks of contagiousness. The C3 field analyzer, the world's first clinically validated portable visual field perimeter, is a perimeter tried and trusted by ophthalmologists. clinically validated in association with Arlington Eye Hospital and John Hopkins. Some comparison reports.
No pandemic should stop you from doing visual field tests. We are greatly thankful to Arvind Eye Hospital for their constant support and encouragement in the entire development. Thank you. Okay, so, so Swati, there, I think it, there is no new jugad in that, except that uh, you can uh, uh, decontaminate the field uh, using UV, right? Yes, sir. Do you want to add anything before people ask you questions? Because okay. we all know yeah. in this time, people are worried about doing an HFA, you know, or even an uh, octopus field, because we are worried about the bowl, the contamination into the bowl, cleaning of the bowl is not easy. People have not come up with the protocols for cleaning. Even the company is not sure whether the bowl can be cleaned quite often because it can affect the, uh, the density and the light intensity and all that issues are there. So what, what is your thoughts? Uh, so actually, this video has been prepared in collaboration with uh, Alphalius, Sandal Kotawala, who is the CEO, and with Akhil. He's also one of the activists. So I would invite Akhil to give his inputs. Uh, actually, yeah. it's the Corona Oven, which is uh, available in the market for 13,000 rupees. So it's a Corona Oven they have made, and it, you can put your device into it. And it uses low-wavelength ultraviolet C radiation to sterilize everything. So you can put the whole device, all the lens which has been used, also the hand buzzer which the patient used to give uh, to note his uh, response. All the things can be put inside the corona oven and then uh, for 20 to 30 minutes and then it is ready for reusing in the another patient. Okay. So, now, now you have to use ovens, ovens in your clinics. Huh? Okay, Akhil. Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, like you said, sir, like, uh, the, the companies and other officials have not came up with the solution if uh, Humphrey can be cleaned or the bowl can be cleaned with the sanitizer or anything. Uh, at the same time, what we are proposing is it can be uh, sterilized with UV rays or UV chamber. And uh, at the same time, the lens which have to be cleaned or possibly if we have to clean the sanitizer, it won't affect any opticals of uh, C3FA. So it's uh, completely totally safe the, that we can claim that uh, C3FA can be totally sterilized. Uh, we have done, uh, done some validations with uh, Remedio. We tested it uh, in a UV chamber and uh, we got, uh, got some uh, quite good uh, re results on that. So right now we are claiming that we are, the visual field test can be uh, continued by doctors with the help of C3FA. If they have one, right? Like yeah, one. exactly. Yeah, right. The problem is people are proposing a lot of things. Now you uh, use eye care for tonometry, use CFA, but you, you need to have one. No, it's exactly. like uh, how right. validated it is. You know? how can I follow these questions? It's all a question which comes on people's mind. But anyway, we right. can keep this uh, in mind. Uh, Fatima, you have any any question to? What is that? Uh, sir, it is. Uh, it's Dr. Like Swati. It is a uh, very nice uh, presentation. Uh, the thing is, uh, I mean, uh, the same uh, doubt everybody has, the validation, uh, how far, because it comes in very close contact, the whole apparatus comes in very close contact with the patient, that uh, grooves and niches in the uh, instrument, I mean, how far it, it could be 100% uh, 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 sure uh, that it is decontaminated with EV rays. It may not be exposed directly to EV rays, the curves and the things mm. in the apparatus. Maybe we, in addition, we have to do uh, isopropyl alcohol wiping so out after the decanter. Yes, Dr. Fatima, outer surface can be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol or any sanitizer, but the optics and the inner parts, like I think, or maybe to be but doubly sure, we can clean with isopropyl and then put in the UV chamber. And, may, and the patient can wear the mask and then do the test also. So, uh, it's not that the mask is going to hinder the CFA because it has got a notch here and it is going to fit here and the patient can wear the mask and then on top of that can put the CFA. Provided okay, the even a cap, probably the even a cap a patient can wear so that the... Yes, yeah, so headband will also not get contact with the patient's hair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we, we just okay. uh, to say that after it is contaminated with the, with the UV... Sir, I Yes or not? Yes, Naresh. Yes, Naresh. Sir, the question is for you also. Mm. 
Uh, can we teach the glaucoma for the next one month without doing the fields? Treat glaucoma with fields only. No, no, we can. We can manage glaucoma without fields. See, many of the times, fields in our patients are not very reliable, even after doing several times. No, I have patients who have done very well, who have crossed the learning curve, but still you make errors after a few months or few years. You know, it's not that easy to do. Uh, again, literacy, you know, your uh, computer savvy. <laughs> To do visual fields. So you can always do without uh, visual fields. You can rely on OCT. You can rely on your clinical findings. But at some point, you need to do, you know, to validate your uh, whether it is progressing or not. You can't just pull on like this. So you have to find ways. Any yeah. other question? Yeah. Yeah. Only one. Yeah. Yeah. I have one submission here. That, uh, uh, this is a wonderful, uh, I think, innovation which can give a good alternative. Uh, what we are doing is we are using that uh, slip cover where the Velcro had shown. We are using the same thing. Uh, it's only that the other part of the Velcro that is attached slightly up and uh, only the eyes are open. Rather, we can uh, patch the other eye and uh, uh, we can do with that also and we can dispose it off. So it's not touching, it's not coming in contact with the, uh, uh, with the machine at any point of time. So maybe a must be 50 alternative. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but still you have the buzzer which the patient is touching That's and then you have to disconnect and then, then you are not sure what is. So again, we if, if we if, see this is all Jugaad, I feel we have to do all, we have to take ultimately a combined Jugaad from everybody's ideas and then only uh, we can like uh, overcome the pandemic. So, Manav, you had a question? No, no, I just have one suggestion, Swati. Wonderful idea that you just proposed. Uh, the only thing is to avoid or minimize the time of patient sitting in your OPD. As, as has already been pointed by Dr. Vijay Sharma and uh, doctors, that we need to really quickly uh, diagnose and treat and let him go out. Him staying in, no matter how much, uh, no matter what precautions we've taken, he will be in, the, in your OPD or in that particular room for at least a half an hour or so. First of all, understanding with the whole thing and making him understand. How, how can we be very sure that uh, one field is not, is, will be good enough? We sometimes might have to do two and three times. So as to really come to a conclusion, it's a very wonderful suggestion that you just proposed, but more, more or less, we are not suspect, we are not even expecting COVID to stay here indefinitely. It will go on in a month or two time, months or two, two months time. So that's what I wanted to say, just to minimize the time of patient in, sitting in your OPD. Because now we are, we, we didn't know it was there since December, but still we were doing things. Only when we came to know, we became like more aware and more cautious. So maybe it's like we will be cautious from now onwards for every day. Hmm. So maybe we can use it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. We, 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 we'll go to the Thank next you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, that is also from uh, uh, Pondicherry, uh, how to do a safe uh, wonders photography. जी ये देख
again, uh, uh, it's an idea uh, to again save time, not to dilate some of the patients. So it can become a part of your protocol. Somebody can sit safely, image the fundus, put it into the EMR. Uh, so it's not a time to learn the skill of uh, doing 90D in uh, non-mid. So non-mid cameras are there. So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a simple idea to, again, save time so that the patients don't wait long in your clinic. Uh, so Dr. Uh, Mega, who is one of our residents, did that uh, here, and uh, we have been doing it for the last three weeks now. They, it showed some promising results for us, and we have shared this idea to the rest of Aravind also. Uh, Karthi, you have any, any questions on this? A great uh, idea for the fundus photography. Is it uh, implemented in all the general units or is it only for the retina clinic? It's, it's in general units. So then it, is, then it means that the patients who are needed uh, a 90-day examination alone are taken a photograph or all patients are? All, all, all patients who are, no, the patient doesn't have a red eye or compliance. They go through the triage. Most of them are disposed in the triage. If they enter into the clinic for defective vision, no refraction glasses. So it's become one of the stations now. Good. Yes, Manav. Yeah, I just wonderful presentation once again. Uh, just a cling graph would do. I mean, I have documented that, uh, although I did not uh, put it into this video that I just showed. If you just use a cling graph, uh, cover the optic of the fundus camera, and you can take a very, uh, very well defined and a very uh, clear uh, fundus photograph. So that is just covering a small thing, and would be even lesser than this what we've just uh, seen. Yeah, uh, the staff who is doing this behind that plastic sheet, like what uh, you were showing. So this particular, you can even cover this. Even this can be covered. So it's coming through that small hole. So they have made this to kind of lock it so that, uh, yeah. and also we can also cover it so that you can clean the optic if you want to. Mm -hmm. But the, the camera is inside, right? Yes. So you just move inside, it doesn't come that close to the patient. And the nozzle of the camera can be cleaned using a sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Yes, so Vijay Sharma. Uh, yeah, I just uh, uh, want to uh, say our experience in this. So uh, what we are doing is wherever the headrest, chin rest, and hand rest are there, we can use the slip cover mm. at, uh, in any of them. Now yeah. it prevents the patient as well as the doctor, and you need not uh, do the sanitization every time because you are changing the thing. So uh, any uh, we have used it on OCT, we have used it on uh, fundus camera, uh, we have used for FFA, we have used it on field uh, visual field as well as slip lamp. So it can uh, protect both the doctor as well as the patient, even if a sanitization, sanitizer is not available, if you're not sanitizing the entire, because it may be difficult to sanitize each and every point on the slip yeah. lamp for any equipment. So yeah. it gives a good barrier protection in, uh, in addition to these. Uh, okay. Yes. Hey, Parag, you, you have any questions for this? No, no, no questions. A very good innovation. Okay, so, so why hmm. no till last month we were all going green suddenly why we are moving away from green suddenly using so much of plastics <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a balance between uh, uh, safety and green now but but there are other things happening for green so we are not worried about so the problem like what Naresh is saying now we have to keep disposable cups I can't give the same stainless steel no I, I can't say that it's being UV sterilized so now we have put a lot of paper cups there, you know, and then all those drapes, wraps. So unfortunately, somewhere we are not green, but fortunately for no travel outside, you know, for the no uh, buses and trains and all that planes which are not flying, we are seeing, we are able to see Taj Mahal from here. Because Interestingly, we last week we had peacocks in our uh, uh, campus for the first time. I'm sure you have an oral lab area. But here I've never seen in the last uh, 18 years of being at Pondicherry. For the first time, we saw peacocks, at least three or four, which are still inside the campus. So it looks like somewhere we are going green and somewhere uh, we are not going green, but hope uh, it doesn't stay longer with us like what we all expect. So we, we have uh, a small uh, uh, ideas uh, to end with from uh, Valley. There are uh, 
six different small small ideas uh, and we have a team from tirunelveli dr meenakshi is there the presenter is there the We're going for the next one. Thank you. 
so there are three three of which which we shared now any any anything so all these are like real jugar because again uh, all this can be sourced now a lot of people are coming with dispensers and all other ideas but it wasn't available to begin with five weeks back now people have to come up with and now they have learned the art of doing lot of different things so any 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 questions on this prabhu the three you saw keep all the doors open wherever possible Uh, no, regarding this dispenser, sir. Actually, in Madurai, no sister helps us. Already there is a dispenser, but the only difference is we were using our porridge for pumping the. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you can find it. Maybe we can set that video today tomorrow. How we do it? That's what we have been doing. The dispenser is there with the small handle. We have been using our porridge. Number one and number two. Actually, when we have what uh, what do you call the sensor mediated dispensers, why we have to go to ancient system? So we can buy them. Hey, yeah. now we were just, we are talking about what happened for five weeks, right? So people are looking at. So even the simpler ones, even now, if you buy, it, it may not work after a few months or uh, no. It is either electrical or it is uh, battery operated, electronics inside. I've seen lot of sensors fail, and once they fail, it's very difficult to get it rectified. But now. i see these are working really well i am sure it can go on for some months or years at least but when you use it it's going to stay in the and 90 days is already there and the, the idea is already there people are using i think the rice camera by jaitra uses the same the stand stand for it right the ring yeah, stand yeah and second thing i just want to know out of this uh, thing that 90d he or she has used is own or the ward 90d <laughs> because hard oh. people are scared to use that their own 90 d for that purpose no our, our 90 d <laughs> no, means hospital or your own hospital <laughs> my own is just my own 90 d <laughs> then it's fine this clearly for tape is put ward is third floor la karti karti does a lot of work with the lenses and protection and all that you have any question sir uh... The ninety day that they have used is partly like how you have a HOP lens stand that is available for all the clients. It is the same principle, but the one for this instance can use it at least until the COVID ninety gets over. You can use it for not being able to not use any ninety day examination. You at least have some tool to use. Only issue is uh, the patient if he is going to close the eyelid, then it becomes a problem. So you need uh, some uh, thing to hold on. So like that eye drop aid that you have, if you can take that, fix an entity in the center of it. Like how the 3D, uh, I had asked uh, Venkatesh to get a 3D printed one. If an eye drop aid can have a central hole which can be fitted with an entity, then you can open the eyelid with it and also examine the entity uh, fundus. That can be done. Okay, okay, we'll we'll print that then. Sir, sir. Uh, hmm. sir. yeah just uh, and i think the the sensor one as you mentioned it has its own problems of uh, uh, of uh, of not doing its work if it is and and then it works on its own if some 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 light or something is uh, i mean it's it, the sensors get stimulated by unnecessary lights and dimness yeah those things are there the good thing i liked in that video is that though it's a mechanical one they have planned it in a way that that it's more stable and it's more friendly for the Uh, patients to even press press the foot pedal, and and I like the thing that they had a tube also because it it splashes in front the the hand rub. I think once they put the tube which is more down, I think people can easily the 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 thing can easily fall on the hands, uh, and I like that thing in that video. And, uh, and the 90 day thing, uh, the the one I liked is that cubicle which they made in the slit lamp. I think I like that that's a way of cubicle. I think. with the uh, with moderate use of plastic and and it appeared more protective uh, and the door one the one advises i think the pull mechanism was good but i i feel there should be a transparent mirror so that people know who is pushing and who is pulling on the other side i think it was totally opaque i think uh, there may have, there may be some accidents if, if it is like that. i suggest they do that transparent glass placement in that uh, door thank you
Okay, if we go on like this, you know, we have to change the whole hospital for uh, <laughs> one. You know, every every change people are doing is going to cost a lot. Also, we have to keep a uh, keep in, in in that in mind because we are. I think uh, with a foot on the, I think that knob, I think that is more dangerous. One foot. Yeah. No, they already there is no revenues. So where do we spend the? <laughs> anyway, let's see the last three. Uh, short ones before we uh, close the day. So this is the last one, yeah. Thank 
Okay, so uh, uh, some of this you know, are uh, important, uh, but we all know uh, this is a time where you don't want to touch anything, you don't want to touch the patient, you don't want to touch anything, but uh, at the same time, you know, the touch with the patient should not uh, uh, anyway deteriorate. The touch, the touch which we give to them um, in the form of care and compassion, because I, I, I think patients are also coming with a lot of thoughts behind them, right? I mean, when they are coming to a public place, they are not they are not just uh, enjoying to come. They, they have some problem. They have some real pain uh, to come to a hospital, uh, whatever. So somewhere in this uh, period, we have to see how we can bring that uh, uh, compassion into our care, in spite of protecting the staff and patients. Any any questions on the last three from anybody in the panel? Uh, uh, yeah. I will just submit that the most of things that we are doing is uh, to protect the healthcare workers. We are not conceding that patient is coming sitting on the same thing. Next patient is coming again sitting on the same side. So I think maybe slightly we may need that aspect also to be covered off because patient's head and chin are touching the sleep lamp again and again. We are just thinking that we will just clean it with a sanitizer. Uh, your idea is very, very strong, sir. You are now looking at all that. Your idea has been very strongly uh, focused or oriented towards patient care, no? So where you keep changing it and also cleaning the seats and things like that is equally important because at the end of the day, they should feel comfortable, no? They are our uh, customers. They uh, the infection to the next patient. Yeah. Now people who are coming are with emergency, but tomorrow we have to get our customers back for our contact lenses, for our glasses, for our cataract surgery, refractive surgery. So they should feel comfortable. They should feel safe in our place. So we have to balance both. Uh, uh, and this, this was a good time to practice all that balance. Now we are back to business. We can get a lot of things. We can buy a lot of things, but all these jugad will help us to kind of refine some of these ideas and take it forward from here with the material available. Uh, so, so again, I take this uh, uh, opportunity to thank each one of you. I, I request the judges to join with us daily till Saturday. You have to uh, bear with us and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. And uh, tomorrow we'll have the different set of uh, presenters as panelists joining with us. And this team can uh, uh, join us, their attendees uh, regularly to see what's happening. And uh, thank you again. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir.